Hi, I'm author Stephen McGee, and we're going to look into some computers that I have been upgrading to NVMe solid state disk drives to increase the performance with video editing. Now, I use a free software package called Shotcut to do my video editing, and we're going to look at the performance of these three computers and how they performed doing the same task in Shotcut. Now that task is to stitch four short videos together into one video. So they all ran the same task in Shotcut and outputted a single video from four videos. So how did they do? Well, the, the 2016 Asus VivoBook at the bottom, which is this computer, it actually is very, very slow on Shotcut. And uh, it's the reason why I eventually stopped using it. It was just getting slower and slower. And I was finding it frustrating. So this is a 2016 Asus VivoBook X540LA. It has four logical processors, eight gigabytes of RAM, and it has a SATA SSD. Now the SATA SSD is the old hard drive technology. So the two computers we're going to look at have the new hard drive technology in it. And this is the first one. So this has a silicon power UD90 NVMe generation 4x4 SSD in it. So these drives are super fast and they're great for video editing. But the thing you'll notice with this 2022 Asus VivoBook is it's half the specification of the previous computer I showed you. So we only have four gigabytes of RAM and two logical processors. And my expectation was this would not do well on Shotcut doing videos as compared to the first computer because the first computer had more memory and it had more processors. So I was quite shocked when it performed three times faster on Shotcut, not doing the same task. So that was very, very surprising. And it's a direct result of the NVMe hard drive it has. So that was my first experience with these NVMe hard drives. So I purchased one for my main computer, which is this one. It's a 2021 HP Pavilion. And I use this computer daily. It's the workhorse of what I do. And it has 12 logical processors in it. And it's been upgraded to 20 gigabytes of RAM. And it has a silicon power UD90 generation 4x4 SSD NVMe in it. And uh, it is super fast compared to the other computers. Uh, it's been a very good upgrade. I've been very happy with it. So, this actually processes shortcut videos 10 times faster than the first computer I showed you, which I was quite shocked at. I didn't think a 10 times increase in performance could be achieved compared to the first computer. And uh, that's a direct result of increased memory and an NVMe drive. And the interesting thing when, with this computer as compared to the others is the processor on the others runs at very high levels when it's video processing. On this one, because it has 12 processors, the, the computer is just idling while it's processing video. So all the video processing is occurring in the graphics card, and there's not much load on the processors themselves. So the graphics card on this computer is now the limiting factor for video processing, and there's nothing you can do about that because it's built into the computer. So it's going to take a computer upgrade to a new laptop with a faster video card for me to get any more speed. I've maxed out this computer with upgrades. And uh, I don't see any reason to do any further upgrades due to that reason. And it's doing everything I need it to do. And I'm very happy with it. So that's my experience with upgrading these computers. That the upgrades were easy to do and they delivered a lot of extra performance out of the computers. Uh, Shocker is very, very fast on this computer. 
I hope you enjoyed the video and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.